Welcome, in front of me is an Honor Magic 6 Pro and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So in any case, to get started, let's open up our settings where most of the things that I'll be well, showcasing are located. And we can start off by navigating to the home screen and style. And here we have just a vast variety of things we can just customize uh, so the device looks uh, the way we want to. Now, going over a couple of the things in here, we have things like the always on display. If this is something that you want to enable, it's actually located in here. Um, now, another thing that you probably might want to maybe get rid of would be the other one, which is the magazine unlock. So right now it is turned off, uh, but if you want to, you can enable it or well, I would personally like to turn it off if it's, if it's already enabled uh, as the magazine unlock. It's just something that looks, maybe not looks, but just gives sometimes not very good wallpapers on your lock screen. So sometimes they are just so random uh, that it makes no sense to have them. Uh, I prefer to have just one static one, uh, so that's just my personal preference. Now additionally we have things like also fonts in here, so you can select your new fonts. Obviously if you download more, install some, uh, they will show up in here and can choose from the list. It actually looks like we can download it from here, which is actually pretty nice. So keep in mind, some of them by the looks of it already have a price tag next to it, so that's kind of not fun considering you can probably download them for free in on your computer. In any case, let's continue on to the display and the brightness. Here we have light and dark mode, um, which can enable, depending on what you, what you what you want. Not sure why that took so much effort to say. Uh, I also think this is something that shows up throughout the setup process, but what doesn't show up throughout the setup process is the auto switch. This, when enabled, allows you to select it so it switches automatically based on a schedule or from sunset to sunrise, which is two different options that you can choose from. And obviously it might be very beneficial to some people to have it switch automatically uh, based on the time of day and give you best of both worlds. So during the nighttime, if you wake up and you wanna check your time on your phone, you don't get flashbanged by your own device. Now continuing further on uh, down the list in the display and brightness, we have things like, um, where is it? Oh, there we go. So we have screen resolution. Now this is a premium device, so it actually comes with uh, higher resolutions than you might have on other devices. Uh, though in here it actually gives us lower resolution options. So it's actually um, gonna go down in resolution and this is, this is still a little bit higher than you might be used to, though it won't probably make much of a difference. Uh, the standard and low will be ones that you might actually uh, see a difference in. Let's see if enabling something like that and just looking at the wallpaper. I'm just gonna look at it closely. Hmm, not sure if I'm seeing any difference. Now I do wear glasses from time to time so which i don't have right now on and yeah i like i said i can't really see a difference but i do want to check out something so if we go into a oops not here come on cancel i guess uh resolution let's go back to high i want to check out if there is going to be any kind of visible difference if i do something like this so now if i open up uh, photos i will have two different screenshots at supposedly two different resolutions, at least that's how it's supposed to work. So let's see if that is actually the case. Now, uh, if you're wondering why you might want to lower down the, your resolution, uh, the simple answer is to preserve battery. I lower the resolution, the lower uh, the battery consumption. Okay, so I can't really zoom in all that much in here. I guess I can't also zoom in all that much on the other one. And to be honest, <laughs> they look almost identical to me. So if I zoom in on the image, this is the 1080p or a little over 1080p. And you can still see it relatively clearly. Now, okay, no, never mind. This was the 720p. Okay. So yeah, this is the, the first screenshot. Then this is the second, which is the higher resolution. I'm not sure if I'm seeing any kind of difference between those two. I 
Okay, I do have to say there is a tiny bit of a difference. This just looks a little bit softer. Uh, but like I said, I really need to look for it to actually see it. So uh, honestly, if you don't mind it, uh, going down the resolution uh, might give you better battery life. As the phone won't need to render um, basically four times more content on a display. That's kind of the, or maybe not four times. What was the resolution that I picked? No, not refresh rates. There we go. Okay, so this wouldn't be four times. So this is relatively small of a difference, uh, which will still impact your battery life. So in any case, you can check those out, see what kind of battery you will get, and uh, just pick one that you basically don't see a difference in. Now, anyway, moving on, finally, uh, to another option, we have the screen refresh rate. Again, we have dynamic, and this will again go with the uh, battery consumption. Uh, you have dynamic, which is uh, going to be the best scenario for most people. Um, this utilizes both refresh rates, so the 120 and 60, or possibly even lower if it's a um, LTPO display. But in general, this will be probably the best option for most people. Now, if you want to prioritize battery life, you could change it to standard. This will uh, run up to 100 Hz instead of the 120, giving you a little bit of a better battery life as the device won't need to render twice as many frames on the display whenever you're using it. So obviously that will contribute to the uh, less resources needed and less battery being uh, used up. Now moving on and now moving into opposite direction of more battery consumption by improving image quality, we have the video enhancer. Here we have the option to enhance our image quality or video quality more specifically uh, based on just uh, processing in the background down to the image that you're watching. And as you can see, it also uh, gives you the applications that it supports right here. These are all the ones that come pre-installed with the device. If this is something that you want to use, you can just enable it in here. And you do get to see the difference that it makes. It does make the images more vibrant and more appealing to the eye. So obviously for watching content on your device, that's actually a pretty nice thing to have enabled. Now keep in mind, like I mentioned, it will probably consume a little bit more of your phone's battery. Now moving on, uh, back to the main settings page and all the way to the bottom we have system and update and in here we have things like the system navigation and in here you can choose from the button navigation to something like gesture navigation uh, and i'm not going to be learning it i already know how it works and uh, if you have never used it you just swipe up to go home like so swipe up and hold to go to recent and then swipe from either side to go back now, because this is a Huawei, <coughs> I mean Honor, uh, it also has the smart panel, which can uh, toggle in by just uh, getting to the the back gesture, and then it just kind of, if you hold it, it switches to the panel. So, uh, this is actually accessible without the gestures, uh, though it might be kind of annoying sometimes with the gestures, as if you hold your finger for a little bit too long, it will bring it up. Though the panel itself is actually pretty neat, I do use this quite often as I do have a Huawei device nowadays. So a very old one is basically the same OS. So you can see we have access to a bunch of applications in here that are installed on your device. So you can access all of them. Uh, you can add them also to the panel and it also allows you to open them up in a pop-up window. Now, the nice thing about this is if you have any kind of application open like this, for instance, if I do bring up the panel, I can have applications visible over it. So let's just say that I'm checking something in my bank application and I want to just, you know, add something up. I can whip out a calculator, do my whatever I'm going to be doing it, minimize it and go back to working on my uh, bank app, for instance. So obviously it's a pretty neat thing and it also hides the application for you to come back to. You can have multiple applications open at the same time as well and just swap between them. You can't have multiple pop-up windows open if I remember correctly. Yep, so you can see it replaces the previous one. But you can just swap between them now. Okay, one last thing that I wanted to uh, show off is the color settings, which is again in the display and brightness. So, was somewhere in bottom. Oh, there we go, it's right here. Screen, color. So we have uh, couple options. We have the natural tone and color mode and temperature. Now in here you will see that it's by default enabled to vivid, which is just the case for 
basically every device. Now, with that being said, we do have a normal mode in here as well, so automatically apply the standard color space as RGB or P3 gamut, and uh, this might be the more color accurate option. Now, it does give you a little bit more of a yellowish tone when you enable it, so if you're not used to this, it will look a little bit jarring to you, probably. Uh, but this is supposedly the more color accurate mode. Now, additionally, you have also natural tone, automatically adjust color temperature based on ambient light. This is just going to use the sensors right here uh, to try to adjust the temperature of the devi device based on the environment. So, as an example, if I enable this, uh, now this, I'm not sure how that will look like, uh, but I do have warm and cold light uh, turned on at the same time right here. So, let's just turn off the cold one, which leaves it with the warm one only. I'm not sure if that was visible, but it did switch the tint just a little bit. So does it subtly. Uh, it might not be visible on the video as much. The, uh, the camera might not be picking this up at all, but uh, it tries to adapt the color too much to the environment, so it looks better or more natural. It's kind of hard to describe this option, uh, but if you ever entered, for instance, a store and you have like some devices placed on there, sometimes they have content open that just look, literally looks like a sticker. And it's not. That is partially to do with the natural tone, uh, trying to mimic uh, the color temperature to the environment, and that's why it kind of looks like a little sticker on a phone. Anyway. So with this being said, this would conclude the tweaks and tricks that I want to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.